Hello, this is Ted Gosling and I am about to show you a two-part series of lionfish trap de uh, lure deployments. I started with the first deployment, uh, which you'll see where I took a mirror out and a gate and uh, set them up in the trap. And then the next day I heard back from a hunter that, uh, in fact, a uh, parrotfish had got into the trap and was uh, banging his head against the mirror in frustration. So I have since gone back out and recorded uh, removing the mirror and replacing it with a small fish lure and then I left the camera there while I went hunting I brought a lionfish back and then left him in the trap still alive uh, so it'd be great to see if uh, some other hunters go and see how long he survives and if he's able to find his way out and I am here to show you the uh, first installment of our series of different lionfish trap lures and gates uh, for the gates, we have two. We're going to try. We are going to close one entrance with this, which is the same kind of material as the, the trap is designed out of. And then the other entrance will be this. This is kind of like a porcupine entrance. Uh, from this side here, it looks like there's plenty of ways, plenty of space to go through. Uh, but from this side here, all of the different, si different size spaces are blocked by sharp pointed stainless steel rods. For the lure, we are going to be using this mirror which I will suspend in the back of the trap in front of the closed door um, so that any lionfish looking in from the front will see another lionfish and hopefully be enticed to go into the trap. Thanks for your help. If you have any questions, uh, be in touch with the lionfish group uh, on the WhatsApp or you can contact me directly. My email is tgosling at ibl.bm. Thanks very much.
les gars, tous les gars, 